Dan Blasberg, Maryland shall issue president, um, Mr. Chairman and, and committee. Uh, with regards to Senate Bill 638, we oppose this bill. Um, number one is, as mentioned, um, mandatory minimums uh, at, at the state level uh, tend to not work. Um, the issue isn't so much mandatory minimums as, as actually practicing and enforcing the law especially with regards to, and I'm, I'm going to call out one specific jurisdiction, Baltimore City. If the law was actually enforced and people were actually convicted of the charges instead of no low prost every chance they got, this wouldn't be a requirement. If you go back and every time that an individual is arrested in Baltimore City and go back and look at their record through judicial case search, you will see a very long list of no low prosecutes on various previous gun charges. Whether they were loaded or not, it doesn't make a difference. The gun charges were no low prost. If that had been done, this bill would not be needed. For that reason, we oppose this bill. Thank you. Just briefly, um, thanks for being here, and uh, you know, we all—I think we all share. I think everyone here on this bill shares the goal, uh, understands the goal and the motivation, and um, and shares the you know the, the idea that we want to try to get people off the street that are yes, sir. meaning to do harm. Well, well, Senator Huff talked about this potential amendment and uh, or the potential idea. What, what's your thoughts on 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 what he suggested? Uh, I'm not asking you to take a position. I'm just, well, just your thoughts. Um, I'm, I wasn't in when, when he made the suggestion. Oh, okay. Can I, if, if I may? Uh, yeah, I suggest, yeah I, sorry. Uh, I suggested, I know we're still a tag team question. I suggested doing, removing the 30-day mandatory minimum, but increasing the maximum up to five years on the penalty. Right now, it's a 30-day mandatory minimum and a three-year max. I suggest removing the mandatory minimum, but going up to five. So they get a bad guy, they can hit the bad guy with it. But if they got Grandpa riding around... With a with a gun, and they don't got to hit Grandpa with 30 days in prison. And the idea, I mean, obviously, is to be sure we avoid we we allow the police to and, and we allow the judges to put these folks away longer than need to be, but then we avoid the obvious conflict. You're right about enforcing the law, Senators. I mean, I'm I'm old school. This is this is a bill trying to fix something that that hasn't been enforced entirely yet. Why are we trying to fix something if we don't know that it works? Is is simply where I'm coming from. Um, no offense to, to um, Commissioner Davis from Baltimore City. Um, he's an excellent police officer. He was my District 1 police officer in Prince George's County as he came up through. He's from Berwyn. Um, but I think, and my organization thinks, that if people were actually prosecuted for what they were charged with, this would not be needed. Clearly there's some frustration, and I've heard it from law enforcement officers in Baltimore City that live in my county uh, mm -hmm. and there, there's some in and, and other places there's some real frustration with the judicial system in in the city and, and not not getting these folks put away when they need to be put away so you're absolutely right about that but I thank you for your testimony I mean we're, we're happy with the part that that, that mentions previously previously convicted change that to previously charged 